The doll in this video is not a toy. It is a fragile and or expensive art piece or collectible intended for adult collectors. Hello everyone, this is Rachel or Claudiel Tan and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we're going to be looking at my new Island Doll 1-6 scale doll body. I ordered it through Alice's Collections. I think I had a three month layaway. This body is a new design and it was on sale for the first few weeks. I'll be sure to link which body this is below. I placed the order while it was still on sale and then did installment payments. And I do wanna emphasize this box came to me in perfect condition, but I have a vintage typewriter that's out in my room and I was carrying this box to set it somewhere safe of course, and I dropped it on top of the vintage typewriter. So these are like where the different sharp pieces of the typewriter poked the box, but it was packaged very safely. The damage to the box is all on me. So I wanna show you guys real quick what this body is for. And if you are not interested in that, I will put a timestamp up here so you all can skip it and just get to the unboxing. I unboxed this head about a month ago. If you've been with the channel for a while, you might be familiar with the story. I had a 3D printed ball jointed doll inspired by Deet from Dark Crystal. And I later found out that the artist was using a file from Thingiverse that is not commercially licensed to make their dolls. And I didn't want to promote them anymore on my channel, but I really liked the character. So I am reshelling a character for the first time. So this head I commissioned from Namahue. This is their artist stamp in the back. And I'm hoping if the measurements on the website for this body are correct, this head should go on this body. But I do really, really like this body on its own, so I'm hoping that they'll go together, but even if they don't, I'm sure I'll still find a use for this body. So let's get into it. I have opened the box once before, but I haven't seen the doll at all because it's really wrapped up in here, you'll see. But the first time I opened this box, I actually had to have someone help me, one of us holding the lid and one of us pulling from the bottom. So in the top of the box, we have a magic eraser which is from Alice's Collections. I apologize for the state of my fingernails. I used a crayon to mark on some fabric for a hand sewing project I did, and somehow it just got under all of my fingernails and I haven't managed to get it out, but it's just crayon. I'm assuming this is the Certificate of Authenticity. It's in a really nice thick bag. Ooh, wow, there's a little wax seal on this. See that? Or maybe it's a sticker made to look like a wax seal either way. Probably a sticker, but it looks really cool. I can't believe it took me this long to order from Island Doll because I like so many of their sculpts. This sculpt is Ruru. I ordered it in Snow White because the head that I'm hoping it'll go on is very pale. And its birthday is April 15th, 2021. So it took about a month to get to me after it was made. Oh, this is such a nice detail. Spoiler alert, what the body's gonna look like. And then on the back, it has all the measurements. This is so handy. I wish more companies did this. It's really well wrapped. We have bubble wrap around the whole shebang. A plastic bag. And a little pillow. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I absolutely adore the sculpting on this. The little feet, little hands. It's strung pretty tightly, but that'll make for better posing. It looks like this peanut joint might give me a little bit of trouble. Might need a little bit of suede in there. That's not a big deal. These little hands are so cute. It does look a little more childlike in person than in the photos. I'm not really necessarily intending this to be a childlike character. I just wanted a doll that wasn't quite as skinny. This doll has a little more meat on their bones than a lot of ball jointed dolls. I should mention some ball jointed doll companies don't include certificates of authenticity with their bodies or with heads that are sold separately, only with the complete dolls. So I really appreciate that 
there's a certificate of authenticity with this. This is also a really nice detail. It helps prevent the neck peg from damaging the neck here. And this little ribbon is to help pull it through the head, which is really nice. Normally I have to use a crochet hook or something, and I know not everyone has those. So it's really nice that they had a plan for that. So I wanna try out the head. It seems I overestimated the size of the head. I'm not 100% convinced that it can't work. This is a fantasy creature, but I'll need to play around with what they look like with eyes and a wig and an outfit a little bit. I do really like this body and I really like this head and if they have to exist in my collection separately, it's a little bit of a disappointment, but very doable. I am thinking maybe this head it needs a one quarter scale body but we'll see I do want to get to know it a little better but I'm just gonna end the video here because the sizing difference has thrown me for a little bit of a loop I wasn't expecting it to look like this in person and I just kind of want to sit with the doll a bit and try to figure out what my game plan is in the meantime enjoy this bobble-headed gelfling while I say all the outro things if this is the first video by me that you've seen. I typically make videos about ball jointed dolls, art dolls, and miniatures. I usually release three videos a week. And occasionally I make videos about fashion dolls and vintage dolls. So if any of those things are up your alley, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe. If you're already familiar with my content, don't forget about the Facebook group and my Patreon where you can support my content financially for as little as two dollars a month in exchange for seeing all of my youtube videos one to two weeks early and now that i've reached my first support goal i also give away one doll every single month to a patron so be sure to check that out if that's something you want to be a part of those who support me on the fairy godparent tier on patreon in addition to what i already mentioned also get a print of one of my dolls sent to them every single month and a shout out in every youtube video i make so shout out to road to eric fan tenor girl and my anonymous fairy godparents, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.